Uh, hello everybody, it's Alice the Dragon looking at a big eyeball dude in Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Oh goodness, uh, yes, we were resuming our uh, Earth Element uh, and Elementalist, but <clears throat> oh my goodness, it's been, it's been uh, a week. It is uh, actually... Uh, uh, the week of my birthday, and, uh, yeah, among other things, uh, like, yeah, the, the world is, uh, being, you know, being 2020, <laughs> and, um, and on top of all of that, well, uh, my, uh, my poor, uh, gaming computer, uh, the, is is no longer uh, working, unfortunately, because of the motherboard issue. Uh, <laughs> it will not actually uh, boot. I do not want to even try that. I don't want to tangle with an ogre when I don't have any rocks. And uh, what's what's over this way? What's over this way? I'm getting hungry. Ah, uh, like. And, and on top, and top of uh, my nice gaming computer, uh, giving up the ghost, my headset, which you know I thought was you know a decent headset. Well, it's either it's either the headset or it's the USB jacks on my laptop or some something doesn't work with the USB headset anymore. So. <sighs> Goodbye. Go, go away. Go downstairs. Let's see what we can find down here. Uh, like yeah. Uh, like birthdays are complicated for a lot of people, and uh, usually it isn't that complicated for me. In that you know, like I've got good memories of of my birthday and. Uh, but, you know, the older I've gotten, the less important they've seemed. And yet there's still this, uh... uh hello, Prince Ribbit. Uh, there's a staircase right next to you. I'm going to... Oh, dear. Oh. Let's, get... Let's just get out of here. Ah. Yep. Uh, that's, that's kind of uh, where my head's at right now. Uh, let's... Let's try this again. Okay, let's play Alice, and uh, we are uh, going to be a draconian. What am I? A uh, transmuter. Yes. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I I like transmuter. Transmuter's a good one. Monk's my favorite, <laughs> and. Uh, I don't know if that's a play style thing, or I I just like the flexibility. I like starting from a really flexible place and being able to take advantage of early game magic weapons. Uh, yeah, I want the tomahawks. Got the arrows. Grab some throwing nets, javelins. Do 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 do. Yeah. Ah, uh, so. Yeah, I, I think that now would be a good time since uh, I won't be able to. Ah, I don't know. Like I, I like I really am not good at the publicity side of content creation. Like I can do, yeah, I can do the writing and I can do the art, but the people, like I love you all, but. Uh, but sometimes I just don't know what to what to do with people, and you know that's yeah you know, that's one of the reasons why you know, I uh, consider my mindset to be more draconic than human. But uh, I don't know. It could be just 
Yeah, it, 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 could, it could be some uh, diagnosis that uh, I just don't have yet because, well, I'm just not there. <laughs> like, uh, uh, like, it takes a lot of work to get the right diagnosis from what I hear and just... I really don't want to say on camera what I think I have, but... Uh, you know, but I, de I definitely think there's been some misdiagnosis in the past when it comes to my mental health journey. And it's just like, today's one of those, one of those days where it's just like, I'm kind of on the ropes. Which, uh, means it's a good day for Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup when you're feeling on the ropes, right? <laughs> uh, oops, hello guy. Well, I haven't been using my spells at all. There you go. Uh, like, you know, it's definitely a time where, you know, I've, I've, I've always been kind of a canary in the coal mine when, when it comes to, like, social trouble. Like, I'm one of the first people to just, like, start feeling depressed if uh if something's going on and it's really weird you know sometimes i'll you know feel off for no apparent reason and then and then uh, i get uh like news that you know like some somebody close to me is uh is really struggling with something or or like there's some sort of national disaster, which, like, let's, you know, let's be honest with ourselves here. Uh, that's probably confirmation bias, but oh my gosh, it seems to happen a lot. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's like, it's like the, the pain of the world moves in cycles, and I'm just particularly sensitive to it. But, you know, I don't know, like, why am I not why am I not using my horns? Like, I should actually use the tools at my disposal if I'm going to succeed. Story of my life. Ah, uh, let's see. There we go. Get, get, get. Ah. Uh, I think the most important lesson now is just paying attention to what's going on for me. Ooh, Amulet of Rage. Oh, I've all the best traits of Berserker and, and, and Transformation, that, that, that actually works really nicely. Need some, uh, we'd like to get some food. You know, I think I'm going to switch to throwing stones for my far away attack. Uh, should, should I, should I consider Rue? Of all the gods, only Ru opposed creation, not as folly, but as distraction. The initiatives of Ru can open channels to the powers underlying the visible world by renouncing the fetters that bind them here. These sacrifices are not made to Ru, but rather given up freely and permanently. Having made such sacrifices, initiates will become able to draw upon this Im immense power to aid themselves, eventually gaining the ability to unleash its destructive might against their foes. You know, it might be just that kind of day. Let's, uh, let's join Rue. Like, reality is a distraction. And we are just trying to figure out where we are and how we can move forward. And, yeah, personally, I subscribe to the idea that, yeah, the more we agree to help each other, the better, you know, the further we can all get, but, you know, there's always going to be those bad actors who are just like, well, I'm going to just uh, take advantage of your rules because I see this loophole where it benefits me. And, yeah, and, and they, uh, ooh, there's Terrence. Hello. Um, beastly appendage here. Uh, let's actually get to a place where I'm gonna have less 
of the time. Damn. Come on. Get get those horns back. Oh, oh, uh, oh, I've got the tail thing. That's why it didn't show up on the screen. There we go. I need to actually read that bottom uh, left-hand corner there for yeah, strategy's sake, but you know, the, like, the, these Let's Plays have actually been very helpful for me, like, which is one of the main reasons why I keep doing it. And it's just, you know, figuring out where my own headspace is. And, uh, I am going to throw rocks until you die. There we go. And yes, I know I'm never getting those rocks back, and you're, you're a pain in the butt. Go away. Ugh, come on. There we go. Come on. Really? There we go. Yeah, like, I can't get over there without flight. But, uh... uh... Oh, I can do stick to snakes or spider form or ice form now. Hmm. Um, yeah, stick to snakes. Because, like, you always gotta have your minions. Like, it's, it's a lot easier to defeat enemies when there are, um, multiples to distract, which is, uh, one reason why Hepakana is my favorite, um, why, uh, yeah, like, just, I, I just, uh, wish that they would stick around a little longer, but I guess if they're made out of sticks, um, that makes sense. He's got a fancy whip. There we go. Uh, I did not mean to create a stick, uh, a snake for no reason, but, uh, yep, that, uh, that happens. <laughs> oh, it's my ghost! Oh, it's my ghost that just died. Um, Eh, I'm 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 probably uh not as uh not as strong as as them. So let's uh keep going and get this guy. There we go. And the last one I might have skipped a level two. I don't know. Don't quite remember. But, uh, here we go. Ah, da 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 da. Getting. Ah, getting these orcs. Alright. And then, uh, another thing about just. Ah, oh, dang it! No! No, I don't want to play with you! No, I don't want to play with you. Go away! Um, let's try over here. And, you know what, let's... No, I'm, uh, wait until very hungry to eat the rations. Let's get those horns going. Um, get a snake going. Get another snake going. Because that ogre is just that bad. Not a good place to be in. Um, well, there's my potion of flight. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, beat into talons. Take care of these guys on the bottom first. And maybe another potion. I'm mighty. I need a healing potion. Come on. Uh, nope. None of them were healing potions. Yep. Uh, it's only been, what, ten minutes and I've died twice already? Um, 
Uh, let's <laughs> try again. We are uh, a wizard. Wizard. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, one thing I didn't do uh, is um, I do. I care about stealth enough to. You know, I care about stealth enough, but mostly I want the fighting, the unarmed combat. Um, let's actually turn those on, on full, because I need to defend myself. Thank you very much. I may be playing a wizard, but I, I want to play a wizard with some hit points, just in case. Uh, and... I know magic dart. I'm actually going to uh, adjust that because one problem with having a spell slot in A for me is that it's easy for me to uh, forget to switch back whenever I cast a spell. But if I assign it to Z, yeah, my spell key is Z. I just type Z Z, and and, and there's my magic dart. There we go. See, adjusting strategy to maximize something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't, I'm not even sure what's up with, what's up with my head there. It kind of looks like I'm wearing a little wizard's hat, which is cute. Zap. And that's all my magic. Well, then uh, I guess I'm going to smack him. Uh, get out of here. See, I, have a, like, I like having my last minute contingencies for when they're up close against you. And and you at, at the very least you need to survive long enough for a teleport to work. Or just survive. Yeah. What, what am I doing? I should use my magic. Because I have magic. I'm a magic dragon. Yay! Okay. And also, like, I don't have to fight everything that comes in my way. I know that is one of my little strat stratagem fallacies. Uh, yeah. Also, uh... And a shout out to uh, nearly senior citizen if you happen to be uh, uh, watching today. It's it's just been it's been a heck of a week, and watching watching your stuff has has been very comforting, honestly. Just just because it's just like okay, I'm not alone in my you know having dealios, and uh, so if if you haven't checked out nearly senior citizen yet uh please please check him out he's the internet's dorky grandpa and uh and he's just he's just swell uh yes i can smash up these mushrooms to get at all that gold don't mind if i do i like gold i'm a dragon Ooh, there's a there's a guy there I, I really don't care. You can't get to me without going all the way around. And you know what? Uh, z zap, 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 zap. Okay. <coughs> we are continuing. And there's a lizard and a hobgoblin. Get, get him, get him. If you're wondering where uh, Delver 10 is at, currently, uh, like I, I, I'm like this. This episode of Delver is going to be like one of my most ambitious yet because um, I'm trying to have a conversation with. Uh, with my future self. And uh, doing that actually uh, requires 
a heck of a lot more editing than I was expecting, but it's also been like a, a really nice just creative project. And um, it is, it's just, um, yeah, I've never done animating before. And uh, I'm essentially av you know, animating an avatar of my head. Dexterity, strength, you know, I, I, I actually want to have strength 10, just so I have hit points. There we go. Like I, I end up playing more or less the same way from, from the get-go. Oh, I do have a hat. Bella! What's up? What? My microphone fell down. Uh... Yeah, because of uh, problems with my headphones, right now I have the microphone that plugs into my headphones plugged into my headphone jack on my laptop. And Bella's excited about something. Probably neighbors in the next yard. Yeah. Uh, do I want to try this enchanted dagger? Yeah. No! Let's, uh... <laughs> let's remove... That curse! Yay! So so lucky that the first scroll I read was the removed curse. But the removed curse is usually the most um, prevalent one. Uh, I want to take out that snake immediately. Get and get the get the bat! Yay! All right. Uh, so far, so good. All right, we are continuing the journey in spite of early setbacks. <laughs> and, uh, yes. It, it is, uh, nice to have, um, uh, I guess that guy didn't see me. He just kind of appeared in the corner there and then disappoofed. Well, I'm not going to chase him. Why would I want to chase a giant worm? Those guys hit hard, at least in the early game. But having magic definitely helps. Definitely, definitely helps. I want to talk about, um, actually, uh, this uh, toy I made for, uh, made for Bella the other day. Now, uh, I saw I saw this uh, DIY on the internet that was uh, that was just like you know, put pop bottles on a stick. Oh, excuse me. And uh, and put uh, a couple of holes in the bottles and put treats in the bottles. So uh, that's that's what I did with uh, just like a regular old pop bottle, and. Uh, and uh, she she just kind of started tearing the holes open larger, <laughs> and she eventually got the bottle off the stick and started um, just like trying to chew on the cap. And I'm just it's just like, no, Bella, you can't. Uh, please don't do that. Oh hi, you're messing with my microphone. Hi, is it because I'm talking about you? Yes. Yeah. What do you want to say to the folks at home? Oh really. Oh yeah, uh huh. Okay. Well, uh, good to know. Good to know. Um. And it helps to have her blanket when she asks for it because she's a little Miss Prissy Pants. It keeps knocking my knocking my uh, headphones over, head or uh, knocking my microphone over to get my attention. So. Yeah, um, but she's under her blanket now, so she's happy. Um, getting that worm, like, actually, this guy's faster. There we go. Okay. Okay, just... All right, uh, ran out 
out of magic. Come on. There we go. Get that unarmed combat into into play there. Like the idea is that I just want to soften them up before they get to me. And uh you know, I'm going to mm, No, I'm not gonna train throwing. But uh I will pick up throwing items for now. For now. Because even if you're not good with them, they can be surprisingly good. Zap the bat. There we go. Alright. Mm. I've also made uh, a goal for myself. And, uh, and uh, this was first announced on my patron like yesterday. But um, I've pretty much, you know, given everything that's been going on, I've, I've set a challenge for myself. Um, I may or may not have uh, talked before about uh, the stories that I've been trying to write. Yes, Dagger of Venom! That'll definitely help, because then I'll be able to hit a person, get them sick, and then start backing up. Um where possible. Also, I want to know what this scroll is. It was a scroll of random uselessness. Let's go ahead and drop that. Um, do, 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 do. Is this a uh, identify potion? Is a scroll of teleportation. Good to know. Very good to know. I, I, w I was kind of hoping to find a scroll of enchant weapon. Or enchant armor, but uh, that will be uh, for later on, I suppose. We're just continuing on. There's a teleport trap. Doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, we're going down. Ooh, the sewers are nearby. And also, this guy is in my face. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, let's try east first. There's a centaur barding. Nope, but I guess we're going south now. Zap, zap, stab. Yes! Oh, having that uh, dagger is really nice. And also having magic is really nice because then I can just shoot him from afar. Perfect. Okay. So... Okay, I don't have that much. Uh, there we go. There we go. I am pleased with my progress. Let's say that. <laughs> I'm definitely um, a better uh, DCSS player and a better um, let's, we're just gonna go ahead and, and get our mana back up. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm a better DCS play, D, DC you know, dungeon crawl stone suit player than um, than when I started. And the same goes for Let's Playing, I like to think. Also, zap! Ha ha! I, it doesn't have to be directly on him, I just need to get it uh, aimed right. Uh, that is not what I wanted to happen. Alright, let's just go ahead and let him uh, come up like that. Oh, come on, let's actually target him when he's close. Stab, stab the snake. The snake has poisoned me. Okay. Uh, a little bit of healy dealy there. <laughs> I can poison plants. That's fun. I'm glad that I don't have to worry about durability in this game. I do need to worry about hunger. Like, 
Really? Nothing back there? Okay. Uh, zappy, zappy. Zappy, zappy. I need to watch my mana. These guys are throwing rocks at me. I throw rocks back. Okay. Excellent, excellent. That's what I was hoping would happen. I, I poisoned him and then I moved and uh, the poison killed him on his turn. So that makes me a happy dragon. That's kind of been my uh, goal ever since this thing started is, is just, you know, trying to figure out how to be a happy dragon. Am I a happy dragon? So far so good? Uh... Well, yeah, I, 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 like, that's an instance of saying so far so good and just maybe not entirely meaning it, but, uh, ah, like, I'm still here. That's what matters. <laughs> uh, yes, the cobalt is nearby. I should, uh, get him. Okay, uh... Do, do, do. Zap the snake, zap the snake, uh, poison the snake, maybe? Yes. Perfect. Um, also, I should probably allow myself to learn how to use my dagger while I'm, uh, while I'm using it, because eventually I will need that. Uh, yeah, I guess that is, uh, that is everything, isn't it? Except maybe for uh, hungry again. Is there anything hiding back here? I, mean, I always want to explore these places really thoroughly before before calling it, especially when it comes to the sewers. Yeah, like spots like that. Um, doo -doo -doo. I'm hungry. I want to eat some snake meat. Poison the snake. There we go. Poison the second snake and zap him. Yeah. Okay. That is good. That is very good. Yes, indeed. Uh... Right, I was talking about uh, about my stories earlier. Yes, I am setting a goal for myself to uh, you know to to finish my first novel, which uh, is actually the first the first of a trilogy. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, um, yeah, I'm officially naming the tr the trilogy "The Death of the Soul Empire." Which, uh, you will eventually learn has multiple meanings. And, uh, and, uh, so, uh, yeah, like, I want to have that on my patron by the end of, uh, 2021. And, uh, it, or not the end of 2021. I want to have the PDF first draft version on my patron by, um, uh, by 2021, and, uh, uh, did I get everywhere? I guess I did. Okay, let's go up. Uh, I, I want, I want to have the story on, on my patron as PDF and EPUB, and, um, uh, and if you feel like supporting me, you know, before that's out, for, you know, whatever reason, like, that would be amazing, but, uh, yeah, it, it, like, maybe, uh, have a tier called, uh, legacy, legacy people who, you know, if they're contributing, uh, before the, uh, <clears throat> yes, here, here's an idea, a, a, a legacy tier for the patron where if you are in before the first draft is, um, is posted, 
then when it gets into print version, I will uh, uh, give you a, a, an autographed copy or something fun like that. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, like, you know, between, you know, the patron and, um, and just writing game articles, like, this is where I'm at right now. You know, this is, this is my career. This is my life. And I'm trying to make it work. And so far, uh, so far it's working. And it's definitely helping me be a happier person. Hello? Hello? Where'd he go? Did, did, he, did he just die? Okay. Um, that's interesting. Uh, <laughs> Um, but you know, it, it would really mean a lot to me to, you know, like every single person out there that says your your writing is good or I enjoy your let's plays, you know, like right right now my my patrons my you know my uh, best way of um, you know my best metric for that really. Yes, hello, Rue. How are you? Uh, like, I just, uh, like, it's encouraging, you know, to have even one person out there who's just like, you know, you're worth a, a dollar a month. You're worth five bucks a month. Uh, and, you know, every, every penny helps. And, I don't know, like, <laughs> um, but then after that, it'll it'll be like, yeah, uh, you'll you'll have to get like the higher tier to uh, get the print version when it does eventually come out because I want to make this happen. Also, I am in trouble. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? Actually, let's try and just survive long enough to. Ski daddle to another floor. Phew, okay, much better, much better. Yeah, there he is. Zap him, zap him, zap him, zap him, zap him, zap him, zap, 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 stab, zap, zap. Oh, out of man, out of man. Uh. Like, I, I, uh, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited about potentially being able to, uh, to actually publish a story because I've been doing this, yeah, you know, I've been, I've been writing in one capacity or another since I was 10 years old. I, I started out, um, doing a story called David the Dragon and, uh, David was, this uh, boy who uh, lived out in the middle of nowhere, and uh, and one and one day he uh, uh, saw an eagle and uh, and was just like sitting on a stump looking at him. And so he uh, goes over, he reaches out, and uh, ooh, hello. And when he touches it, there's a poof of magic, and he turns into. A dragon, and uh, and so does the eagle, and I am dead. That was that did not go. Uh, yeah, I was not paying attention. Oh well. So she goes. So she goes. Uh, but uh, do I want to? Uh, do I want one more? One more. Like I, I haven't finished my story. Like. Uh, so, you know, David turns into a dragon, and it turns out the eagle was a dragon, too. And, and the, and the eagle's just, just like, well, you touched my magic scale, and it turned in, you into a dragon. I don't know why, but, uh, um, uh, yeah, but that, that's, uh, right. What am I even? I'm, I'm a conjurer again. Okay, uh, just, Let's put stuff into fighting and spell casting. 
I'm not going to do throwing anymore. At least not going to train throwing. Stealth. Eh. I get, I get pretty noisy, actually, once I actually start zapping, so... Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> well, yeah, and, uh, yeah, she, so, uh, the, uh, yeah, the dragon he met, who, by the way, was, uh, named Tara, uh, she, um, kind of, like, took him to Kingdom of the Dragons, and, like, there, there was this whole thing where he falls in love, and the, and the girl gets kidnapped by this mean dragon, like, very, very stereotypical stuff. <laughs> But yeah, you know, he he gets the girl, he saves the day, and um, and in the end, I actually ended up writing myself in as being the explanation for how the author knows this story, um, and that was kind of my first realization that I wanted the story to be true. So you know, like. Intellectually, I know that I am composed of human cells and human DNA and all that stuff, but that doesn't discount the experience of not feeling the same, if that makes any sense. But, uh, like, I know that there are people out there who you know, who feel the same in one capacity or another, you know, I, uh, and, you know, kind of, kind of con consider myself, uh, I, I, I don't know, like, like, I really don't want to read too hard into it since, uh, you know, you know, there's, there's a lot of, uh, political stuff, uh, surrounding just, you know, feeling uh, like you aren't born into the proper gender is uh, is now a not you know maybe maybe not common maybe not fully accepted but more accepted thing than before. Also, what do I want? Let's actually give ourselves some good dexterity just for the sake of having good dexterity. I, I know, like, somebody out there is bound to be like, oh my god, the strats! You you do not have the strats! But, uh, like, the, I, I, in the, in the end, like, my own opinion is the one I should trust most. Like, I can definitely seek out second opinions from other other people but you know the problem with you know being um you know being being uh abused when you're um growing up and you know you know for me it was peers like you know especially stuff like um gaslighting just kind of trains you to believe others' experiences and opinions of you more than your own. And that ends up just being very maladaptive <laughs> in the long run. And uh, so it's kind of a matter of survival to believe your yourself more than you believe somebody else. And that's, and that's actually why, in my opinion, it's so difficult to talk to somebody who has a, a different point of view because there are so many people that, you know, part of their uh, belief system is, you know, don't take into consideration this person who disagrees with you because they're wrong, which is very uptight thinking <laughs> and that and, and that's just a problem uh, that it's a problem that's not a problem if that like uh, I, I I'm, I'm I'm trying to really get my thoughts in order here but 
it's just like the best way to approach somebody who who you disagree with is not to come come out and say I disagree with you it's to figure out what you do agree on and find the common factors between your experiences and um yeah, like I, I grew up in a very rural community and was, and was surrounded by people who um, kind of had that um, I don't like fixed isn't really the right word for it, but it's it's just like um, starting on a particular assumption, and it's just like. Yeah, you know, when 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 you when you start on a, a on the assumption that I'm right and you're wrong, that I would argue that that's a logical fallacy in itself. The assumption of correctness in in the first place, and yeah, you know, the the best way for us to figure out what's really going on here is to you know, talk to each other and be like, okay, what's the real situation? Like, what what are you seeing? What are you seeing that maybe I'm not seeing? So, uh, I don't want to fight my ghost. I don't want to fight my ghost. I don't want to fight my ghost. Thank goodness she isn't doing the zappy zappy. You know what? It's been about a little bit more than half an hour. I think it's time for me to uh, call it. But you know, I, I, I hate pandering. I really do. But uh, do consider um, you know, sending me, uh, like, you know what? Forget it. If, if you enjoyed the episode, I hope you have a good day. I'll be all right. Bye.